Hello guys, welcome to a vlog. I am in a car because I'm about to set off on a long drive back to London. Um, I've been wanting to come back for a while, obviously. It is my home and all my stuff is there and I am struggling to work more and more here. Um, and I've been here for two months now, even longer actually I think, which is mental. It's crazy like how how quick that's gone in so many ways. Um, it's just bizarre how well we've all, even though it's been so anxiety inducing for all of us in different ways and really difficult, the way that we've all sort of adapted to the fact our life's on pause is just remarkable really. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to come back for a while for those reasons just said, like work's a big one as well, just be able to work a bit better and everything. Um, but obviously it really hasn't been within the guidelines at all and now they've updated the guidelines to something which is as clear as mud basically um, but as they've said I mean they've loosened things up enough and I think the way they've said things the reason I'm talking this through like this basically is because I'm very very aware of having an audience online means that I'm setting an example and I do not want to set any example that I think it's okay to be traveling willy-nilly around the country to see your family see your boyfriend if you're isolated separately things like that I, I don't think that's okay I've hired a car so that I am like really um safe <laughs> not on public transport and I think the thing that makes me feel really comfortable with doing this is the fact that I live on my own so I'm leaving a household here obviously I'm leaving mum we've not seen anyone except each other for two months um, and then when I get back I'm fully on my own um, and I feel the way that the government have announced the next steps I mean oh, it's just so bizarre but it really feels like they've put a big emphasis on the individual and just kind of common sense and I think I said this in the last vlog for me the way I'm thinking about it is imagining that R number which is the reinfection number which is kind of the thing they're focusing on most at the moment and if you think about how you could you your individual actions and choices could pump that up that's how I'm thinking so this decision because I'm in a car on my own will be on my own when I get home I did a massive food shop uh, yesterday obviously really safely but that's uh, we've been doing that anyway um, in Waitrose that I don't have to do a shop when I'm down in London where it will be busier um, it's just gotten to me a point got me to a point where I feel confident and comfortable with this decision to go back but I also wanted to talk about it in depth because it's not a decision I've taken lightly and like I said I don't want to be setting a example that can be negative in any way of thinking that I am making flippant decisions regarding this um, and yeah if I wasn't living on my own I don't think I would be doing this at all because again I, it's just easy because I only have to consider where I've been and what I've done because there's only me there um, and obviously mum's more vulnerable just because she's older but so we made the decision to drive down before lockdown happened all those you know many weeks ago um, whereas now this is the other way around there isn't somebody waiting for me at home in any way so let's go it's going to take me about four and a half hours to get back let me Volvo oh I've already got my seatbelt on um, I've got some road snacks three different bars of Tony's Chocolone Brittany Bathgate sent this in the post for me which is very kind water I'm going to put some music on I'm just going to try and not stop just because any decision like that is I just don't want to stop basically so I've had a wee I'm not going to drink too much water on the way I've had a coffee so I should fingers crossed be able to do this in one run it's going to be a bit of a bit of a bugger but let's put in how long it's going to take me to get back and I'm going to speak to you all when I'm back in my flat but I hope that all makes sense and also just uh, the main my main concern is putting out a message online that is flippant basically which I'm put, I put every time I do my postcode I oh, I forgot my postcode I get mixed up between my old postcode and my new postcode all the time um start navigation yeah I don't want to say oh Christ 211 miles 10 to 1 I should be back it's quarter past nine yeah I don't want to put out uh, a message of anything that seems flippant basically um but yeah let's catch up when I'm back hello guys I just wanted to check in so I'm back but that I'm going to properly vlog tomorrow and not this evening because I'm knackered 
the drive went fine i didn't stop i just went and then dropped the car off pretty much straight away because i don't know about you but if you've ever hired a car the sense of responsibility is overwhelming i don't know why i've owned cars before i'm not finding this stressful whenever i hire one i'm like i just want to get it out get rid of it and not be my responsibility anymore so i literally took that straight there and then since then i've been unpacking um i don't think i've ever had such a wonderful full fridge ever in my life all the cupboards are full I just, i'm gonna cook tonight and all sorts but yeah i'm gonna vlog tomorrow i feel so happy to be back but i just want to have a really big sleep i haven't really slept that much the past two nights and then check in with you properly um but the garden i've got like the door open the garden's all gorgeous and wonderful so i'm so excited to properly spend some time here and things um but yes i'm back but tomorrow we shall speak more good morning guys i'm here i'm refreshed i'm ready to talk to you um it's about 20 to 12. i'm pottering around all morning uh like i said before i set off yesterday feeling so grateful to be in a new space because i feel like it's restarted me and especially if it's my own space of just having a sense of responsibility for things that i need to sort out so I've just ordered off Amazon some garden shears because um, the garden's got quite overgrown while I've been away. So that's going to be the job for most of this week to do some gardening, which is not something I have any experience in. So um, let's see how that goes. And yeah, I just want to sort out a room at a time, basically. Have a bit of a clear out of everything and just do what I think most people did weeks ago when this started at home and just use the time to have a bit of a sort out, basically. Um, I desperately want to rearrange all of the the books and shelf area there. That was one of the things I was laying awake and thinking about when I was at mum's. Like, God, I really want to get home and reorganise that. Um, but I'm making myself wait until I do the living room. Maybe I'll do the living room first so that I get to do that bit first. Um, but yeah, I just feel really good actually. Really good for being back. And like I said, there's just so much I want to get done and yeah the weather's gorgeous it's just it's amazing to be back here I slept so well all really good so um I guess the vlogs over the next few weeks are just going to be watching me sort things out <laughs> around the house do some cooking last night I made a pasta with chicken broccoli and parmesan and some chili on it and it was so good and I'll definitely make that again and show you it again at some point because it was delicious I loved it um, and I'm just about to actually have a counselling session in 20 minutes at 12 o'clock so I'm just sat here waiting for that and then I shall begin sorting something out um, I've got an outfit I really like on today as well so I'll show you it uh, the sort of inspiration for having a big sort out even though I did have a big wardrobe sort out not so long ago was just how easy I found it to have not very many clothes with me there was a few items I missed like this jumper from Everlane was one of them um, which I didn't take back with me even though you guys know how much I love this jumper but generally I feel more confident than ever to kind of get through quite a lot of stuff and have a big cull of things once again um, it is a sort of a never ending battle in this line of work as well no matter, you just end up with stuff all the time which is a wonderful problem to have which we've spoke about lots as well um, so yeah I do need to do the wardrobe which is always going to be the biggest one to tackle um, Speaking of Everlane, I've got some trousers, some trousers, and just some shorts from them for just comfy around the house stuff. They are both so good. So I've got the trousers on now. They're really ironing, which I'm going to do once I've done this counselling session. Then I'm going to show you those. And the shorts are like a navy blue version of the cos ones, and the white cos ones that I've literally lived in. Um, so 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 good. So I'm going to show you that. And I also ordered some knickers and a bra off Everlane, um, and. They're both really good, so I, I, well, I won't show you the knickers, but I'll show you the bra. Um, I paid for it all as well, it's not been gifted stuff, but big thumbs up so far. But the trousers and shorts especially, you guys are going to love. So, that's that. I am, um, yeah, just basically feeling really good to be back. And, um, not much else to say at the moment. I'm going to sit and do 15 minutes of work before this counselling session, and then... We'll show you this outfit once it's all ironed. I thought there's no point ironing it when I'm about to sit down in a chair for an hour because the trousers will just grease again. Just made myself lunch and then ate it and forgot to film it. I had a salad with couscous, beetroot, 
avocado, cherry tomatoes, but the ones that are all different tones. Oof. And I'm trying to look into the empty bowl like I remember, broccoli with some balsamic and some oil on it. It's very nice, but now I'm just gonna have some chocolate to wash it down and a cup of tea. I actually think the first room we're gonna sort out is the kitchen, because I only really need to go through one cupboard. Like I said, I did a big shop up north and bought loads of like chopped tomatoes, black beans, you know, like all the heavy cupboard stuff that if you live in London and you traipse into and from a shop, it's an absolute fucking ball like to bring back home, weighs a ton. So I'll shove it all in the car. In, shove it, that was so northern. I'll shove it all in the car. Um, so, but then when I was unpacking, I was like, Elizabeth, you already have so many chopped tomatoes. You need to rein this in and actually know what's in the cupboard. So I thought, oh, I'll sort out the cupboard, which is a shit show. Um, something that lots of friends take the piss, of me, piss out of me for is generally the state of my cupboards and my fridge and things. And this cupboard we're going to go through is... A mess. I really can't be asked. I really need to do it. First I'll have my some Tony's chocolate. Excuse me, he cuts now. And a cup of tea. I'm feeling guarded. I woke up with a suit of armor on my body and I know I put it on myself. I can take it off It makes me heavy I'm struggling to rise and greet the day And I don't like it when I'm like this But it's not easy to shake away It's not easy I'm afraid that I might be disarmed And if I am not careful I may be hurt And I may be harmed Oh, of course I wanna trust you But I have reason to be concerned I'm confused by men's behavior And I won't be treated And I won't be burned No, I won't be trousers I think they are a good thing if you're after something new that you can still wear now around the house something like this is perfect I've got them in a 34 let's check the label of the shorts because that's I've got them the same size before I commit to that oh it's size 2 sorry I forget mixed up with Everlane size 2 generally with Everlane go the smallest size you can I'm kind of in between a 2 and a 4 but for them we'll go for a 2 um they're such a good length so good just like a cotton trouser but i just think i love the shape of them so good for around the house if you're nipping out and not doing much else and yeah hugely recommend really 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 like them i'm gonna show you the shorts now too these are the shorts also in a size two they are so good so 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 good they also come in another color but i've forgotten which color but as you guys know, I'm obsessed with navy blue. Just got on my dear Francis slides here. Really good around the house stuff. Um, I, don't like, I like wearing sandals around the house. And my Everlane knit, which you've seen a million, billion times. Um, but yes, these shorts can't really fault them. I mean, I've not washed them yet, but so nice. The length is great, everything really, really, really good. Big thumbs up from me. I also said I was going to show you the bra I got this just a cotton soft one i've got the matching knickers too it comes in black and gray and this light pink but i wanted a new nude bar just to wear with some shirts and stuff in their summer but when it arrived just put it on and haven't taken it off it's nice though it's such a good fit really soft and everything so another thumbs up from everlane guys i'm cooking up a storm just making meatballs which are in the oven almost done and a tomato sauce and just with some cheese some parmesan cheese and some bread and some wine which i've finished while i've been cooking oh well <laughs> i'll 
alcohol spritz on the go. Hello, my favorite visitor's here. Mm, you were naughty yesterday because he, he or she, I'm not sure, jumps from over there. I was sat on that bench on the phone, jumped from there onto my knee. I would literally nearly shit myself. And then you were on the kitchen top when I was cleaning, weren't you? Not cleaning, cooking. Um, hello, hello, hello. Just had a funny thing happen. I thought, because I've obviously got to do the garden, so I thought oh, I'll hold myself some garden shears. Just some sort of normal ones. Well, everybody, look at my head trimmer. The size of it weighs a ton. So that was nice, not successful moment. Camera battery's flashing, so I'm going to charge this and keep an eye on this cat who's gets where water can't very naughtily and break down cardboard boxes of that, that came with those garden bloody hedge trimmers hello guys oh i've got rosy cheeks which have been sat in the garden on the phone while the sun set and clearly we've caught some sun back in my comfies as you can probably tell um so i went for a walk this afternoon with my it's gonna be awful to listen to. That was me turning the top of a bush butter dish around in order to use as a tripod. I need to move it again. Oh, just really relaxing sounds. Um, I went for a walk with my agent today, which was very lovely. We had a walk meeting instead of normally we just have a sit down meeting, um, which was really nice. But honestly, if I'm honest walking through like London, East London was super overwhelming. I feel like I've been in a bubble in the North where obviously there's only, there's a limit to how many people there are in like the town that my lives in, which is not even a town, it's a village. And walking across the Oakley Moor. Um, and, and obviously the, you know, in London, the population is so great. There is always gonna be a limit on what people can manage. And we like walked, we did, we did a walk like up up Broadway Market through to Beauvoir back down past the canal and it was just so busy and like on the canal path I, I honestly won't walk down there again I'm going to avoid going that way just because it's so narrow and obviously next to a canal body of water you can't you can't jump out of the way of people very easily um, so there was just a limit to what you can actually do in terms of distancing especially when you're on a walk with someone who you're also distancing from and lots of other people are also want to walk with someone they're distancing from. So it's just really difficult. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Josh had said, my agent, because he's been going on walks, he, he lives literally around the corner from me. Um, and he was saying, it's sort of been like this in London for the past few weeks. If any of you guys have been like um, isolating in central London, then you'd be able to uh, sympathize with that. I'm sure that it has been that way. And still there's obviously been some progression to where we're at with the R number and where we're at with the, well, a number of cases and deaths on some days, but not every day. But yeah, it was just a bit of a wake up call of like, oh gosh, it is, I don't know, it's, I, I don't know. It just, yeah, felt quite overwhelming actually. So I'm back home now, thoroughly washed hands, of course, just making myself that chicken and broccoli pasta so I can show you it, uh, which was so delicious. So I just, do some past any pasta. I'm using rigatoni just because it's what I've, got, I've finished a box of it. Um, when I did that kitchen cupboard, I realised how much pasta I have. I could literally feed an Italian village for probably a whole season. Um, and then broccoli goes in the oven with salt and pepper and oil on, and chicken in the oven as well, just to bake. And it all goes on top of each other with oil and parmesan. And when I was making it, I was like, this is going to be really dry. But it's really not for some magical reason. And some chilli flakes on top. So yes, I'll show you that. Um, it's Friday, so I'm having a couple of drinks. I'm just enjoying it. Listening to music and enjoying being here, basically. I'm still reading Iron Pilgrim. I've got about uh, probably 250 pages to go. It's like a good 900 page book. I've said so many times about reading a lot slower at the moment, but I've just accepted that and allowed it. Really enjoying this book though. It's such, like I've said already, there are some themes in it which are related to using diseases as terrorist attack and how contagious it could be. That is your trigger warning for this book. That aside, which I haven't found particularly triggering, if I'm honest, um, it's just a really good page turner. Really good. And the chapters are really pleasantly short, like two or three pages sometimes. 
So I just find that even if I'm waiting for like, the catalogue, I can just read one chapter. Um, so I'm really enjoying it. I think I'll maybe finish it over the weekend. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to put that near where I'm cooking. And yeah, that's about everything for now. Um, I know I said I was going to do more clearing out, but I haven't really had time today. I've been exceedingly busy. Lindsay and I recorded a podcast episode. Obviously went on my walk, did some work this morning, read in the garden this morning. Um, that's my version of busy at the moment. So I'm going to do more clearing out as and when the moment takes me. We're not going, I'm not going to rush anything. I'm also not going to rush anything for the sake of a vlog, basically. Um, in fact, this is my chance to be smart with it and can like title things like rearranging my living room or something even if I'm only rearranging five or six books on a shelf so <laughs> can make this good for content but yeah I'm just gonna attend to my dinner and then I will show you my dinner before I eat it and I will remember this time to do that here we go huge portion because I'm starving Hello guys, it's um, Monday afternoon. This, I did some gardening over the weekend. Chopped back all of this, chopped back this. Um, bought this cushion which used to be my living room outside because it's such a good one to sit and lounge on. I'm a big closet fan of a flip flop by the way. Sun cream there from the day, crisps there from the day, book, cushion and this. It's almost like mattress, I got it off um, I didn't get it off Wheel Truver actually, but it's from a brand which is stocked on Truva, which is called Madame Schultz. And I've got two more coming which are like printed, which I'm really excited about. Glass of water. Um but this garden is so nice. I feel so unbelievably lucky. Like it's about it's probably about half five now, so the sun's kind of gone from it. But all day you just get the sun here and it's a proper sun trap. And it's so 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 lovely. And yeah, like I said, I feel unbelievably fortunate to be able to sit out here which is basically all I'm going to do this week we've got like really good weather in London this week today's been about I think today's only been the early tw low 20s but it's going up to like 26 later in the week um so yeah most of I'm just I don't know when I'm going to end this vlog and start the next one I'm sort of not sure where I'm at with everything but I'll definitely be spending most of the week in the garden and um, just reading I'm nearly finished normal people I'm going to do like a big book update and I think normal people will be one that lots of us want to talk about so I'm not going to mention anything more about it so I've finished it and maybe in the next vlog talk about all the books all together um, but yeah I'm feeling really good I'm just going to pop you on here actually so I can put you down I'm feeling really good I just um, feel like so, so something which I think must be quite symptomatic of just what we're all going through is just generally being slower in how you adapt to things and can process things like when I was up north I thought gosh when I get back to London I'm going to shoot so much content I'm going to do this I'm going to have a sort out da, da, da. all the stuff at the beginning of this vlog you'll watch me say but then as this week's gone on I just found that I in a really weird way don't have the capacity to do it um I know that like sometimes it can be a bit frustrating hearing youtubers and bloggers talk about working hard and things and I'm I'm honestly like I'm not working, I'm not working hard, I'm not doing anything, but I'm finding that like one small task in a day is just so overwhelming and for me at the moment that task for this week has just been re-adapting both to being back here and also the new options that we have of seeing people with the slight restrictions that we've had in our lockdown and so everything that I thought I was going to do was suit, I thought I was going to hit the ground bloody running um, I literally can't eat, my, like my brain capacity is just like, no, you can't, you can't do it. I've like taken a few mirror selfies and I keep looking at the house, around the house thinking where I want to shoot different pictures, but there's just something where I might know my head, it's not, it's not clicking, um, which isn't like me, like I'm normally a very big self-motivator um, and it's not even a lack of motivation that I'm feeling, it, it is just this like, block almost to doing really I mean taking a photo of yourself is quite trivial let's not beat around the bush doing quite trivial things um so it's really weird and find it really strange and like I said I've been desperate to organize this book section um but then every time I look at do it I'm like oh no can't not yet not yet um 
but I'm just letting myself go through these motions. I don't know what else you can do. I'm really fortunate, well not fortunate because I'm not working and it's making me quite anxious, but, um, or not working as much as I'd like, but fortunate in that I've not got pressure of work. It's like I'm posting on Instagram every day. I'm working right now with this vlog. So I'm just like, okay, I'll go with the flow in terms of everything else. But it's a really weird thing, which it has to be, like I said, symptomatic of the situation we're finding ourselves in, of some something that's making it so difficult to adapt. If, like, for instance, I was thinking when I travel, when I used to travel, I would, you like, even if you got a long haul flight and you're absolutely knackered, you hit the ground running with that shooting stuff. You just out straight away, like photos for Instagram, shooting things. It's like you need no, or I've gotten used to needing no adjustment period. You just go, you just adapt as soon as you're there and you're in it. And, and again, I don't want to sound like I'm saying this is some really heroic line of work that I'm in, but genuinely I've never massively needed like just time to adapt to the different situation or context or surroundings or whatever. But this past week, I mean, I've not been home for just quite a week. It'll be a week on Wednesday. No, Thursday, I can't remember. But I'm just like, no, oh, oh, no, I can't function with things. Um, so that's my update. Like I say, I reckon I'm going to try to keep vlogging a lot, but until I start actually sorting out these things, I'm going to sort out. I've not got much to update you guys on, except for just me going through the motions. Hello, guys. It is me. At a later date, in the next vlog, I'm going to put day day stamps on so we know where we're at because I just edited most of the vlog and I was like I don't even know what day that I was talking to you guys there um but yeah I just thought I'd come and sign this off today is actually Saturday and the weather's gone a bit shit today after the most like belting week I'm so tanned I don't feel like I look that tanned here but I really am very tanned just from sitting in the garden um and yeah just sunbathing reading not really being very productive. It's like I've just taken a week off basically, which I think I need to draw a line under it and tell myself that's what I accidentally did in an unplanned way. And now I need to get back into things. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna sign this vlog off here and then start off the next one straight away, uh, where we're gonna talk about books in the next one and I'm gonna clear, have a big sort out of the bathroom. Cause for all I was saying in this vlog about all the sorting out I was gonna do, have I done any of it? Have a heck. Literally, I've just done nothing but sit in the lovely garden. Um, but that has been very, very nice. Just wearing my Uniqlo sweatshirt. Like I said, it's gone grey and a bit windy today. And those Everlane trousers again. And dear Bronx's slides. Um, I'm just about to call mum, make myself a coffee, then upload this vlog. At least that'll be some productive work. Well done me. I need to, you know, the bars on the, bars on the floor at the moment for me, I'm still tripping over it. <laughs> So I need to get back in the zone. I'm going to drop film off next week because there's a place around here that you can drop it off through the letterbox safely. So we're going to be cooking on all burners soon. It's just taking me a while. I'm also knackered for no good reason. What is going on? Anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Guys, I'm briefly back again because I've just had a parcel. So you know I was talking about bronzers. Um, the PR who worked for Hourglass kindly offered to send me some and these one second let me spin you around these are the ones that loads of you guys recommended so i haven't been using any bronzer um like i said i'm quite tanned but they've sent me two different colors of the ambient um lighting bronzer and also a box with some other goodies which i'm excited about because i'm a big fan of hourglass so this is their bronzer in nude bronze light this and also what do we have here this one is in bronze diffused light oh i'm gonna give these both a go and then i'll let you know which one i like best and then they also sent some things from their veil range this i've used quite a few times before and it is really nice the translucent setting powder and it comes with this brush which I also already have but I'm very glad to have another one so so soft and lovely and then the other things I haven't tried so there's eye primer 
I honestly don't think I'll use very, I'm, I'm gonna clear out the bathroom today, which will be the next vlog and get some bags together of things to send to charity of beauty products that's never been used. Um, this might actually go straight into that only because I never wear eyeshadow really. So I don't think it'd be something that I would ever get much use out of. Um, this I will, which is a primer. Sometimes I guess it's nice to wear a primer and oh, nothing else. Can't get in to it. Release there. Just the minimal primer with SPF 15, which I bet's really lovely. It's just one of those brands that I know I say this all the time, I've got such sensitive skin, but Hourglass I just never have an issue with. So I always feel okay wearing it and trying new things from them. Oh yeah, that's really nice. That's on the keep pile. And then this is the one that I probably won't get much use out of, a setting spray, which is a Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. Um, again, I don't really, or maybe, I don't know what you guys think. I don't feel like I wear enough makeup to warrant having to ever set it. Um, but thank you so much, Hourglass. It's such a lovely little gesture. Very excited to use these bronzers. I'm gonna try these today. Um, and they'll find a, a home in the bathroom once that's all sorted as well. And um, anyway, I am going now, goodbye. <laughs>